Can AI deploy cloud infrastructure for you? Is the era of IAC tools like Terraform and AWS CDK dead? Hey everyone, I'm Abhinav Gupta, founder and CEO of DepEx. For those of you who don't know, DepEx is a DevOps co-pilot that can provision cloud infrastructure and deploy code in just a few lines in English. Today, we'll take a look at how we can use DepEx to deploy web applications. We'll use this sample musician app and use Elastic Beanstalk and Code Pipeline to deploy it. We'll follow the following steps. First, we'll create an Elastic Beanstalk application and environment. Then, we'll set up our Code Pipeline and attach it to the repository. Lastly, we'll create a webhook so that our pipeline stays up to date with the code. I forked the repository from the original account full credits to the original creator. The one thing that you have to make sure is that the application is running on port 8080 because that's the default port used by Code Pipeline. Let's jump into the tutorial. Before we begin, you need to register for a free account on DepEx and do the first time setup for AWS. Under the free tier, you get 100 free prompts to test out all the features DepEx has to offer. For the AWS first time setup, I'll link the tutorial video and documentation in the description and on the top right of your screen. First, let's connect our GitHub account. Next, we need to log into AWS. Now we are ready to deploy our application. Let's start off by creating an Elastic Beanstalk application and environment. To create an application, you just have to mention the name. Similarly, for our environment, we have to pass in the application name an environment name we have to pass in the stack so your stack can be anything any tech stack and for our use case we are using node.js but you have an option between python go node.js etc you can go to the documentation and take a look we also have to mention the size of the instance on which our application will be deployed for our use case t2 micro should be sufficient this will take some time to deploy, so we'll come back once this step is done. A few moments later. Once this step is completed, DepEx will return the URL where our demo Elastic Beanstalk application resides. Let's take a look. Here we go. All right then, moving on, let's quickly create an S3 bucket for our artifacts. Now we can create a pipeline. We're going to use AWS Code Pipeline. First, we pass in a name. Then we mention the Elastic Beanstalk application name and environment. We also need to pass in the bucket where our artifacts will be stored. And lastly, we have to mention our GitHub repo. Now my GitHub repo is necromorph98 slash musician app CICD. You also have to pass in the branch of that GitHub repo. That's it. Now we just have to create a webhook so that our application stays up to date with any new deployments. Once that's done, we can just go back to that same URL and see that our application has been deployed. We can go to our console and take a look at our pipeline. This entire process took us less than 10 minutes. If we were creating the same infrastructure using Terraform, it would have taken us more than 30 minutes. You can head over to depex.in slash register and get 100 credits for free to try out all the features Depex has to offer. Thanks for watching.